Hi, Penny Lane here. In this video, I'm going to go over JobTreads integration with QuickBooks Online Timesheets. First, in order to enter time for an employee or have them enter their own time, they need to be set up as a member. To do that, click the settings from the left menu bar, then click members. Click plus internal user, enter the employee's name, email address, phone number, and their role. The roles in JobTread are really dynamic and I'm not gonna go over them here, but there's a great video in the JobTread library. Remember too, that when we set up a new member, we have to map them to the employee in QuickBooks Online. That's gonna be done here under Settings, Integrations, QuickBooks Online, and Employee Mapping. For this example, we're gonna enter time for Dante Simmons. We're going to make sure that the Dante Simmons QuickBooks employee is mapped to the JobTread QuickBooks member called Dante Simmons. And we're just going to choose sync time entry since yesterday. Let's go back over to the members and talk about entering the rates. For Dante, I have three rates set up, standard, overtime, and prevailing wage. I want these rates to be hourly burdened rates meaning I want them to include the cost of gross wage, payroll taxes, workers' comp, and any other benefits, because these are the rates that are gonna be assigned as the cost times the hours when the time is entered in JobTread to that project. So I wanna make sure that I'm including all of the costs associated with paying that employee. Let's go ahead and enter some time for Dante. From the left menu bar, select time, then select plus time entry. We'll choose Dante from the menu and we're gonna choose standard time for this example and James Fox residence. For the item, we'll select framing labor and we're gonna enter eight hours for today. We'll go ahead and improve this time. Only approved time will show up in QuickBooks Online and then click save. Let's also do one more time entry for Dante. We're gonna enter some more time for him today, but we're gonna make it overtime. We're gonna say that he worked one hour of overtime. We'll approve this and click save. Now let's see what this looks like over in QuickBooks Online. In QuickBooks Online, this time is gonna show up on the weekly timesheet. To get there, click new plus, and weekly timesheet from the team menu. You'll notice that when the time comes over, there is no pay item selected. This is because there is no API access to QuickBooks Online payroll items. So once the time comes into QuickBooks Online, if you wanna use it to remit payroll, you'll have to go to each weekly timesheet and edit the pay item. For example, this line item is regular pay and this one is overtime pay. Once I've done that, I can click save and close, and now I'll be able to use this time in QuickBooks Online to run payroll. You might be thinking, wow, that's a lot of work, especially if you have a lot of employees. In that case, I would recommend checking out JobTreads integration with Gusto, where the overtime and regular time is all mapped correctly. From Gusto, you can just import that time directly into QuickBooks Online instead of using QuickBooks Online payroll. If you are gonna use QuickBooks Online Payroll, one thing you need to know is that you'll need to make sure your subscription is the core payroll subscription with QuickBooks Online. If you have QuickBooks Time or QuickBooks Pre Premium or Elite Payroll that come with QuickBooks Time turned on in QuickBooks Online, you won't be able to edit that payroll item at all. If you have any other questions, please email support at jobtread.com.